Thanks for playing along with that song. That was a fun one. Mr. Lou asked if I would pick it, and I picked that one. Now, today we have a really cool Sunday. I don't know if you noticed the colors changed up front. Yeah, they're white. Very good. Do you think you know why they turned to white? Yes. What she said. Transfiguration, in case you didn't catch what she said. In the reading, we hear that Jesus' clothes turned a radiant white, so white that no one on earth could bleach them. It's really funny because, no, that's mine, that's mine. Pastor's question asks if there's ever been a time where you were in a situation stressful, but for you guys, maybe it was a sad or happy, maybe scary, and you just said something that didn't quite make sense or something that wasn't for the right occasion. For instance, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling sad, and someone walked up and said, happy birthday, is that the, maybe the right time to say something like that? No. No, if someone's sad, what would be something you would say to them? Hmm. Oh, want to play with me? That's nice. That might make them not feel sad. If someone was scared, if someone was scared, would you say, oh, do you want a hug? That's a great thing that you might say. So when we're looking at the reading, something really fascinating is happening. Jesus is transfigured before his disciples. That's kind of a strange thing. People don't just all of a sudden start to glow. Their clothes don't just turn white. And yeah. And so the disciples were a little freaked out. Sophia, Chloe. And what do they say? Did you hear what Peter said? It's a really funny thing. This thing is happening. Jesus is showing. He's revealing. He's God's son. Elijah, who we read about, gets, who's the prophet who got swept up by a chariot of fire. And what does Peter say? You guys want to have tents? You want to come and stick around? Why do you think he said that? What a funny thing that happened. Jesus is showing him he's fully God. Elijah and Moses show up, and he just says, hey, let's go camping. Let's hang out. Nora. You think it's because maybe he didn't know what to say? You think he was just so... So confused, so excited about what's happening. He didn't want it to end. He said, maybe if there's a tent, if we stay here a while, Jesus, Moses, and Elijah will stick around and we can learn everything we can. That moment is really cool because you have the prophet, Elijah. You have the law, Moses. And then you have the gospel, Jesus. All together, a glimpse into heaven. And what I find even cooler about that moment did they have cameras back then? No? Do you, do you think there was a lot of pictures of, of Moses and Elijah? Only if they drew it? So how do, you, how do they just know? How did they just know right away that was Moses and Elijah? Interesting, isn't it? And yet he says something really funny. Stick around, camp out, don't go anywhere. You know, in those moments when you're afraid or in those moments when you're sad, it's kind of funny when someone says something out of turn because if you think they're trying to be helpful, so you have to appreciate the effort. And here we see that Peter just wanted it to last. He wanted it, he wanted it to stick around. I think he wanted to learn everything he could, and he's just confused. You know, for us, for us, we know that the Spirit helps us with words when we're in situations. You know, for a classic example, the pastor asked if there's ever been a time where you said something you probably shouldn't have. In my old school, I had a teacher on her way to work hit a deer with her car. And it really messed up her car. And she was very scared. And I thought I might be helpful to ease the situation by asking her if she grabbed the deer for meat. She didn't really find that to be funny like I did. I thought I was going to lift her spirits and make her feel better. But she just thought I was being a little insensitive. Because she was shaken up. <laughs> we're, not, we're all kind of make those mistakes. The spirit will guide us in those moments to say the things we need to say. And in this moment, the transfiguration, God reveals once again this is his son. Here's a quick trivia question before we wrap up. When's another time 
we hear God speak about his son from a cloud. Baptism. At his baptism. Another time where a big revelation about who Jesus is, and we hear God going, this is my son with whom I am pleased. And then again he says, this is my son. Listen to him. Do we listen to him? Do we listen to him? Yeah. Are we perfect at it? No. Does he forgive us when we mess up? Every time? Every time. God is good? All the time? God is good. Exactly. So let's pray. Can you repeat after me? Dear Jesus, (laughs) thank you for revealing yourself at the transfiguration. Help us tell others about you. Help me be kind and listen to others. In your name I pray. Amen. That is what I sound like. So.